It's not the most comfy bed in the world. The scaven is keeping me nice and dry. Cheers! So I have some bad news about the cabin. So today I'm going to try and build our own little cabin in the woods. This cabin actually took me 3 months to complete. And to help build this cabin, I'm using some nails, rope, scissors, a hammer, and saw, and a chainsaw when I get really desperate. Though, I won't be carrying this along with me every day. Let's get started. I picked out a spot with enough trees around that I can use as a base and began cleaning it out. This cabin is going to be off the ground, so I'm tying two poles to four trees to make a base. I gathered some more poles to make a floor for the cabin. So unfortunately, I lost a teeny bit of content where I was installing the floor. To make up for this, I made this little demonstration video. And there's our floor guys. That would actually make a nice chair. Oh. Okay, back to the video. Choo! comfy bed in the world but I'll take it This pole was a bit too long for the roof frame to sit properly. I got the chainsaw out for this one.
This is making me so happy. So I found a bunch of this black plastic that we can use to waterproof our roof. Um, it's got a few holes in them, but we can sort that out later. So there are a lot of holes in here, but I do have another sheet of plastic that I maybe can throw over this. And I have this tape I bought that kind of looks similar to duct tape, just to try and fix up these holes. But honestly, it feels really nice. Not bad. And that is just looking ten, ten times better. We had a bit of rain the other day, so I went to check how the cabin was holding up. The cabin is keeping me nice and dry. However, I didn't appreciate how the water was dripping off the walls like this. So the next day, I extended the roof a bit. So I have some bad news about the cabin. It looks like somebody found found my location or found the cabin. There was a bunch of tools I had like the handsaw and the spade underneath the cabin. It's not here anymore. Um, I had a few oil cans that was just, just around there. Obviously it has been moved and taken. I actually found one of the oil, oil cans here. So somebody knows where I am, where I'm making this cabin. And I wanted to install the door today. And you just can see um, this little barrier I made. Someone has moved this or made this hole. So they, they, they can just come in and out as they go. But I'm gonna try and finish it at least. Maybe take these logs and put in that hole and hopefully the person will just forget oh but this is awful but luckily the person who found my stuff didn't find my my nails and my hammer but I don't have a handsaw to cut any more pieces this is kind of a reminder do not leave my stuff in the woods anybody can just find it and drag it away so we are back at the cabin I got another handsaw and what I'm gonna do today is so I'm going to take all of that leftover branches and stuff and I'm gonna cover that hole or that entrance and that's all you can see that entrance where that intruder came from 
I'm just gonna plug it up. That is my main source of entry, but I would rather struggle and find another way in than just let someone come in and out of the cabin like that. Okay, I think that should be good enough. There's no way you're getting through that. Now that's what I call DIY. It's not perfect, but I think it will work. So this do I may doesn't go all the way out, but it's fine. I can just crawl through that little hole. DIY. So we are almost finished with this cabin, but I think we're gonna add a bed and a fireplace for the rainy days. Falling apart already. I should have nailed that down. So I've been walking around this river and I found this old water pipe clearly not being used, but I can use it. I think we can use this as a chumbi. Just gonna see if there's any crabs in there. Okay, I'm gonna drag this back to the cabin. For the stove I'm going to use the cinder block and as you can see I carved out a tunnel here and a tunnel inside of it that's a little bit deeper than the first one. This is to allow smoke to travel through here and come out where the chimney is going to be. So I'm going to place a flat rock on the floor of the cabin like that. Then I'm going to add the cinder block and then the chimney. So that is what it's going to look like. It's gonna be interesting. 
Ok. So here is our lock. The concrete cinder block. And at Shinbi, I will need to cut a hole for Shinbi to get through. So I'm gonna use a bit of plastic to start this fire. So for our first meal in the cabin, I got us some two minute noodles. It's not what I wanted, but it's all I have at the moment. Let's get a little pot on there. That cinder block is not gonna last very long. Look at that crack. Just look how much this crack has opened. I don't think we are going to use the stove again. I don't know if you're supposed to add the spice before or after the noodles has finished cooking, but I'm just gonna add it. I think that is stringy enough. Cheers! Oh, that's so good. Do you want some? So that's gonna do it for this video guys. I will probably come back to do more DIY videos um, here at the cabin because I really like this place. It's beautiful, it's got a nice atmosphere and I'll t and wow, I can't even talk. And until then, I'll see you next time.